Good morning. Just uh, at church here, getting ready for Bible soccer camp. Uh, but thought I would share God's word uh, with you today. Uh, today's section, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Um, some really beautiful words here. You know, all of scripture is great. All of scripture is, is God's word and all of scripture is useful. Uh, but there are, are some chapters, some passages that really just strike. Um, and, and this is a, one of those sections. Uh, I'm going to read just portions of it um, and talk a little bit, but I'm just going to let God's word do most of the talking today. Uh, verse 1 of, of chapter 5. Now we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, an eternal house in heaven, not built by human hands. I'm just going to uh, stop there. You know, Take time to think about that, uh, what you have waiting for you. Uh, we are blessed here in this world with many different things, uh, but that doesn't compare to what you have waiting you. Um, <laughs> your, your heavenly home with God, a yeah, house that, that God is preparing uh, just specifically for you, um, because that's where you belong. Uh, the things we have here, these are... Uh, Temporary, calls a writer calls it uh, the our earthly tent. Uh, they're just temporary. I'm gonna go on, uh, verse uh, seventeen. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. All this is from God, who reconciled us to Himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That God was reconciling the world to Himself in Christ not counting men's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors. As though God were making his appeal through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Uh, how, is, how is that all possible? It's all possible because of what God has done. He reconciled himself to us. Uh, connected us to himself um, for now and for eternity. Uh, of course, doing so, that, that sacrifice on the cross, uh, once and for all, uh, God's justice was satisfied as Jesus took the punishment. Uh, no longer would God counts, count men's sins against them um, because they had already been paid for. Uh, Jesus suffered that punishment. Uh, and so because of this, that heavenly home, it awaits you. Uh, what a beautiful first verse and then beautiful uh, closing verses. And so I pray that that brings you uh, great joy as you go about your day today. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for uh, connecting us to you, uh, for taking on all the, the punishment that we deserved and taking that away uh, so that no longer you count sins against us uh, because you have taken away that punishment. Um, you suffered for it already. Help us to know this and to know what that means for us, an eternal relationship with you. Strengthen, strengthen us in this today and always. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on your day.